Hi all, welcome to Import. This video is all about the literary theory, new criticism. Due to some technical issues, I couldn't upload video lecture on new criticism. So I've just included questions and answers from this section. We'll definitely upload video lectures on literary theories once the issues are resolved. Now over to questions and answers. New criticism was a school of literary criticism that rejected traditional critical view. New critics were against historical and biographical readings of texts which the traditional critics followed. The new critics were formalist critics and formalism is a counterpart of new criticism. And like new criticism, formalism also believed in the importance of text while interpreting it. The method which is closely associated with new criticism Close reading. New critics are mostly concerned with the text itself and close reading is a detailed analysis of the text. Which genre did the new critics most enjoy analyzing? Poetry. Because poetry is the purest exemplification of the literary values which they upheld. The critical movement that propagated the idea of art for art's sake, new criticism. New criticism is also called objective criticism or intrinsic criticism. It is called objective criticism because it gives importance to object, that is the text. And it is called intrinsic criticism because it emphasized on the intrinsic features of the text and not any other external sources. Who defended ambiguity as a source of poetic richness rather than oratory faults? William Emson in his work Seven Types of Ambiguity published in the year 1930. And William Emson is one of the new critics. Four types of meaning, sense, feeling, tone and intention are explained by I.A. Richards in Practical Criticism in the year 1929. And the other works of I.A. Richards are Principles of Literary Criticism, The Meaning of Meaning, Coleridge on Imagination, and Philosophy of Rhetoric. And I.A. Richards is also considered as the father of new criticism. I.A. Richards wrote the book The Meaning of Meaning in collaboration with C.K. Ogden. Name the author of the new criticism, J.C. Ransom, and it was published in the year 1941. New criticism derived its name from Ransom's work, The New Criticism, and his other work is Criticism Inc., which was published in The World's Body in the year 1938. The author of the well drought urn which is considered as a seminal text in the new critical school of literary criticism is Clenneth Brooks. Honest criticism and sensitive appreciation is directed not upon the poet but upon the poetry are the words of T.S. Eliot in his tradition and individual talent. So this essay appeared in the journal The Egoist. T.S. Eliot's essay, Tradition and Individual Talent, is divided into three parts. The essay was first published in 1919 in The Egoist and later in The Sacred Wood in 1920. And in the second part of the essay, he developed his theory of impersonality of poetry. And he also wrote, the poet's emotions and passions must be depersonalized. He must be as impersonal and objective as a scientist. Eliot presents a phrase objective correlative in his essay Hamlet and his problems and objective correlative is a set of objects images or situations combined to evoke a particular emotion. The new critic who put forward the idea of heresy of paraphrase Clenneth Brooks. 
Hearsay of Paraphrase is a title of a chapter in the Well Route Urn, which is a major work of the New Criticism by Clenet Brooks. T.S. Eliot, I.A. Richards and William Emson are British New Critics and the American New Critics are J.C. Ransom, R.P. Warren, Alan Tate, Clenet Brooks, Kenneth Burke, R.P. Blackmer, W.K. Wimsett and Monroe C. Beardsley. The textbook anthologies of R.P. Warren and Clenet Brooks often regarded as having spread the new critical doctrine, understanding poetry and understanding fiction. The literary theory that believed in the autonomy of the text, new criticism. And according to new criticism, text is an autotelic artifact that is something that is complete within itself. Who is considered as the philosophical general of new criticism? J.C. Ransom. And J.C. Ransom is an American new critic. The American new critic who coined the term tension, Ellen Tate. Tension in poetry is taken from Tate's A Man of Letters in the Modern World. Miss Emily and the Bibliographer is another work of Ellen Tate. Who called New Criticism the Lemon Squeezer School of Criticism? T.S. Eliot. Eliot opposes Lemon Squeezer critics, that is the critics who try to squeeze too many meanings from the text. The doctrine of hearsay of paraphrase is described in the book The Well Route Earned by Clenet Brooks. Hearsay of Paraphrase is a title of a chapter in the Well Route Urn, which is a major work of the New Criticism by Clenet Brooks. One of the critical concepts of New Criticism, Intentional Fallacy, was formulated by Wimsett and Beardsley in The Verbal Icon in 1946. And the concept, Effective Fallacy, was also formulated by Wimsett and Beardsley. Poetry is not a turning loose of emotion but an escape from emotion. It is not the expression of personality but an escape from personality. It is taken from Eliot's tradition and individual talent. Eliot compares the mind of a poet to a catalyst. And according to him, the poet's mind is this platinum, the catalytic agent. The emotions and feelings are sulfur and oxygen. The great tradition is written by F. R. Lewis. And he is also one of the new critics. And this work is published in 1948. And in this work, he considered Jane Austen, George Eliot, Henry James and Joseph Conrad as great English novelists. And in this work, he also considered Hard Times, which is written by Charles Dickens as great English novel. And his other works are Revaluation, which was published in 1936, and New Bearings in English Poetry. Who claimed that the poet, the man and the poet, the artist are two different entities? T.S. Eliot in his tradition and individual talent. American new critics are also called Vanderbilt University scholars or Southern agrarians. Name the new critic who wrote the prose God Without Thunder, J.C. Ransom. Wanted, an ontological critic, is another well-known essay of Ransom and Kenyan Review is a literary magazine founded by Ransom. Which new critic said, judging a poem is like judging a pudding or a machine? William K. Wimsett and Monroe C. Beardsley.